The Ukrainian armed forces have resumed their advance in the Kursk region after a lull that lasted several days, Russian military correspondents reported. The Ukrainian armed forces launched a series of attacks in the Koronevsky district, where they were able to expand their zone of control in several areas. Gordievka, Nezepnoy, Bayakovo and Viktorovka, as well as the village of Uspanovka, the status of which was unclear until recently, came under the control of Ukrainian forces. The Ukrainian armed forces managed to capture another highway to Snagist, which will allow them to advance westward, deep into the Glushkovsky district along the border, and also to strike at the last remaining crossings over the Syme River, the bridges on which were blown up on August 16-19. The remaining intact crossings are located north of Tetkino in the Kariza area. And now the Ukrainian armed forces can advance from east to west south of the Syme River, driving the Russian armed forces into a trap. A 3,000-strong group of Russian soldiers, which is currently being supplied via pontoon crossings, could end up surrounded and encircled. Recall, Ukraine has captured 594 Russian soldiers during its three-week military operation in the Kursk region and has seized 100 settlements inside Russia, Kiev's commander-in-chief said. General Alexander Sersky said Moscow had redeployed 30,000 troops to the border region and they were trying to counterattack and to encircle Ukrainian forces but these attempts were being repelled. Speaking at a conference in Kiev, Sersky acknowledged that one of the objectives of the Kursk incursion was to divert Russian combat units away from the east of Ukraine. At a press conference, President Volodymyr Zelensky said decisions were being made to strengthen Ukraine's forward positions in the Donetsk region. He described the Kursk incursion as defensive. It was being done to prevent Russia from seizing more Ukrainian land and there were no plans to annex Russian territory he said. Right now, the Ukrainian armed forces, consisting of about 500 people, are trying to break through in the area of Nekotayevka and the Shebakino checkpoint in the Belgorod region. The Ukrainian armed forces are trying to break through the border of the Belgorod region, the situation is difficult but under control, Governor Vyacheslav Gladkov said. According to Russian information, there is a battle going on near Nekotayevka, there, Ukrainian soldiers in several infantry fighting vehicles, numbering up to 200 people, landed at positions near the state border and tried to cross it, ours immediately covered them with artillery, after which the battle began. At the same time, about 300 Ukrainian armed forces soldiers went to the Shebakino checkpoint. There is a battle going on there now. Our border guards fought back, then helicopters arrived and fired at the enemy group. Today is exactly three weeks since the Ukrainian soldiers invaded the Kursk region. In the Belgorod region, the militants used the same tactics as in early August. Another Russian channel, SHOT, claimed that Ukrainian forces had been pushed back from Nekotayevka after suffering losses and claimed that no clashes had taken place at Shebakino. There have been multiple signs that Ukraine's incursion into Kursk Oblast is spilling over to Belgorod Oblast. A unit of the Ukrainian 252nd Battalion appeared to have entered the village of Poraz on August 10. Russia also claimed that Ukraine unsuccessfully attacked the Kalatilovka border checkpoint on August 12. Previously, Shebakino became a key flashpoint during a cross-border incursion carried out last year by anti-Kremlin militias fighting on Ukraine's side. Belgorod Oblast is lodged between Russia's Kursk and Voronezh regions and borders Ukraine's Sumy, Kharkiv, and Luhansk Oblasts. 